In a recent chat with Axios at Davos, Sam Altman from OpenAI dished out some really cool updates and thoughts about what's next in AI, especially about GPT-5. The talk was full of fascinating stuff, from how surprisingly popular ChatGPT has become to how AI might totally change our world. Now before we continue, I just want to thank you all for your amazing support and for watching my videos. I'm super excited to share that we've just hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel. I can't thank you enough for your interest and encouragement, it really keeps me motivated. Now let's shift our focus back to the topic at hand. Everyone, Sam included was caught off guard by how well ChatGPT did. It's really made a difference in how we work and go about our daily lives. Businesses and personal productivity have seen a big change thanks to it. Sam is really positive about where AI is headed, and that's because he's seen how it's being used in so many ways. Then they got into how AI is getting better and better, especially looking forward to GPT-5. Sam pointed out that each new version of GPT is smarter than the last. GPT-2 couldn't do very much. GPT-3 could do more. GPT-4 could do a lot more. GPT-5 will be able to do a lot, lot more. He even hinted that they might switch up the naming for the next versions, showing their thinking about AI in new ways. It is the generalized intelligence keeps increasing. And we find new ways to put that into a product. We find new ways to use it. The chat also covered where all these AI improvements are coming from. It's not just the AI models themselves. It's also about the community of developers who use them. These folks are out there creating amazing stuff with AI, pushing the limits of what it can do. Sam thinks there's a real synergy between better AI models and the creative power of developers. Sam shared his vision of the future where talking to computers is the norm. He imagines we'll just chat with AI to get things done, like sorting emails or finding info. You know, you get to your computer, and rather than go open a browser and type in Gmail and look through your emails or whatever, you might just say like, what were my most important emails today? Can you respond to all of those? I'll see these. This could really change how we work, making dealing with technology feel more natural. He also talked about how AI is getting ready to break through its current limits. Sam believes AI will soon handle specific data way better and respond faster in real time. This is huge for making AI more useful in real life. Switching gears, Sam discussed how programming might change because of AI. He believes that as AI gets better at coding, the role of programmers could shift a lot. Well, well some classes of jobs already do, like programmers. Many programmers sure. already do that. This could be a big change in how programming works. Sam's pretty excited about AI and scientific research too. He thinks AI will speed up discoveries, especially in areas like medicine and the environment. The, the single thing that I think is most important about what AI will do for us is help vastly accelerate the rate of scientific discovery, um, make, make new scientific discoveries. We could see some major breakthroughs thanks to this. The interview also touched on some tricky topics, like the right way to use AI. Sam talked about being responsible with AI, especially in sensitive areas like politics. He stressed the need to be careful because AI can have a big impact on society. He also dove into the challenges of training AI with stuff from all over the web. Sam knows it's tough to make sure they use data ethically and respect copyright laws. He admitted these issues aren't easy but stressed that open AI is all about doing things the right way. No matter what we train on, we don't want to regurgitate someone's copyrighted content. That feels clearly not good to us. And so we're working to drive that as close to zero as we can, and we have made huge amounts of progress with new technology there. He also said that in the future, he sees AI systems that can tweak themselves to fit what different people and cultures want, though he knows finding the balance between being flexible and ethical isn't simple. A big topic was about keeping AI content relevant and trustworthy, especially for up-to-the-minute info. Sam stressed how important it is for AI to access and share reliable info in real time. This is key to making AI helpful in our everyday stuff, whether it's work or just staying informed. Then, Sam got into the tricky parts of training AI with web content. He talked about how tough it is to balance using all sorts of online info while still playing fair with copyright laws. He knows it's a tricky path, but reassured everyone that OpenAI is super committed to doing things ethically. To be able to like ensure that we don't, that we're sort of like a good a good neighbor, one of the things that we think is important to happen is no matter what we train on, and we'll, again, we'll try to respect it as much as we can, but the internet is a weird place. He was really upbeat about AI and scientific research. He is optimistic that AI will be a big help in making new discoveries, especially in stuff like health and environmental science. It's pretty exciting to think about what breakthroughs might come from this. The talk also hit on some tough questions, like how we should use AI in sensitive areas, such as politics. Sam emphasized how careful we need to be, 
given AI's huge influence on society and public discussions. Sam also shared his thoughts on how AI systems might change to match different cultures and personal preferences. He sees a future where AI can adjust to fit what different people want, but he's also aware of the need to keep things ethical and balanced. So there will be versions by countries, different cultures, individual people. And I think the answer there is going to be to allow quite a lot of individual customization. Towards the end, they talked about AI in the military, which is a pretty hot topic. Sam explained OpenAI's position on this, saying that the military can use AI for legit stuff, but there are clear lines they won't cross. We don't want our models being used to like make kill decisions, of course, but there's a lot of other stuff that the military does that's quite important. He highlighted the importance of supporting good causes and ensuring AI is used responsibly in these contexts. One of the most interesting parts was about AI responding differently in various parts of the world. Sam thinks AI should stick to some global standards but also be flexible enough to fit local values. He's looking at a future where AI can be customized for countries and even individual users, though he knows it might get a bit uncomfortable in certain situations. Wrapping up, Sam talked about how vital it is to invest in AI infrastructure. He pointed out the big players in the AI chip market like NVIDIA and Apple and how important they are for AI's future growth. It looks like they're set to keep leading the way in this super fast evolving field. So that's the rest of the lowdown from Sam's conversation about AI. All right, I hope you found it interesting. And if you did, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more AI content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.